Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at navigation menu groupings inside Filament. So it will give you something like this, where you have multiple menu links under a menu group, and that group is kind of collapsible. You can open and close it. And then obviously here we have the regular menus like we have covered so far throughout the code. So let's go ahead and see how we can actually implement that. All right, guys. So I have gone ahead and reset my project back to the default we've been kind of using throughout the course. So the default way that Filament does it is basically all the menus are organized this way in alphabetical order, right? And there is no grouping. So in order to get grouping, you need to go ahead and open up your resources. So I'm going to start off with the post uh, resource over here. I'm already actually on that. So I'll move over to my source code. As you guys can see, I have my post resource. It could be any resource. I'm just using this one as an example, as you can see over here. And in order to actually give it this grouping, all we have to do is actually we need to give it a property over here. So the property is called groups. And if you want to check this out, you can look at the documentation or you can just go ahead and take a look at this resource class that all the resources extend. So I'll just go open it up. If you're on VS Code or you're on PHP Storm, if you have the appropriate plugins, it should be very easy. You can just go ahead and inspect the source code. If you just scroll down, there is actually something called navigation group, right? So I'll just copy it from here. That's usually what I do instead of just referring to the documentation. Uh, I can just come over here, take it from there, and you can add it anywhere you like. I'll just add it at the top over here. So let's do it under navigation icon. As you can see, it's protected, static, and then string. Obviously, we also need to make sure it is nullable. So that's why we add the question mark. And then the property name is navigation group. Now inside here, basically you need to give it a unique string for the group. So in this case, for example, uh, because all the post is related to the blog, I'll name this be blog. And that's all we have to do. Okay, I'll just save this and let's go back now. And let's take a look. And as you guys can see now, our post is under this blog group, right? And again, we can obviously open and close it. But everything else is still using the previous kind of format. So if I want to move something else under blog, how can we go ahead and do that? So let's say I want to move post categories to also be under blog. Well, we now need to go ahead and open up this kind of categories resource. So let me go ahead and find this. It's over here, category. Now, the reason it shows post categories and not categories is because I have added a model label, a custom label. But basically, I'll just do the exact same thing. So now I need to also go ahead and add this navigation group to my category resource. So I'll just copy it from the post resource. And I'll add it on the category resource. Now, in order to make sure both of them have the exact same group, we need to make sure that they have the same navigation group name. So both of them have to be blog. So I'll just do that. I'll save this. And if I reload it now, as you guys can see, this category has got moved under blog over here. Okay, now, what if I, for example, went away and made this be a lowercase b instead of a capital B? Let's do reload. As you can see, these two become separate links. So you do need to make sure they are exactly identical when you're actually writing your group. So you can maybe have some sort of constants for these if you want to make it a bit easier. But generally, uh, if you have small applications, just copy paste it and you should be good to go. So I'll just update this back into capital B. Let's do reload. And as you guys can see, it is indeed working. So let's say I want a different group. Let's say I want one for my users. So I'll go ahead and I find this users uh, resource. So let me open up my file explorer. We have this user resource. I'll open it up. And before I do that, let me copy this navigation group so I don't have to type it in. So I'll open up user resource and I'll add this in navigation group and then inside here uh, i'll name it maybe user okay so navigation group of user so let's save that let's go back and as you guys can see now we have two groups and it's a bit more organized so if you have a larger panel with a lot of menus you probably have to go ahead and organize them this way so it's a little bit easier to work with now one more thing i want to show you guys before we end the video is about ordering these now as i mentioned by default all of these are in alphabetical order the menu items itself but let's say inside this blog you want to have the post to be first and then you want the categories to be second right obviously because it's alphabetical we have abc right so categories is coming first then we have uh, posts so how can you go ahead and change this order this is actually very relatively easy to do so i'm going to go ahead and open up our posts uh, resource first so we already have it open actually 
and there is another property called navigation source so we haven't covered this yet and you don't necessarily need to memorize this uh, you can always refer to the documentation but if you just want to quickly copy it just again open up this resource class and if you are on vs code and you have php intellifence or php all in one all you have to do if you're on uh, windows hold control and click and if you're on mac do shift sorry command click i believe it's the exact same on php storm as well but let's go ahead open it up again and if you scroll down same as navigation group you should be able to also if you scroll down a little bit more find navigation source so i'll just go ahead and copy it from here again i already had it here but i'll just paste it again and this one very similar kind of definition protected static instead of just being string it's an int and it is also nullable so if it's null it's basically the default value it, it's going to be alphabetical but if i want to follow a specific order it's basically on ascending order so if you put something as one it's going to be first and then if there is another navigation menu with two it's going to come after the navigation link with one right so for example i set this one to one now if i reload it now it's still following the exact same order so if i want the categories to actually go after post i also need to go ahead and add this navigation sort to it as well so i'll just copy it open up my uh, menus and let me open up the category resource so i'll add it to category resource as well but since I want the category resource to come after post, I'll give it a larger number. You can give it two, you can give it 10. It's up to you. Sometimes I go in kind of uh, intervals of 10 so that I can have numbers in between as well. But it's up to you guys how you do it. So I'll just set this, for example, to two since we have a very simple setup. And if I reload now, as you guys can see, this actually changed, right? So now we have post and then we have post categories after that font right just like so and then you can do the exact same thing with all of them as well it will just change up the place the order of them all right guys so that's it for today's episode very basic stuff but i think it's still useful for you guys to know as your applications grow you need to know how to actually add these navigation groups if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below as always if you enjoyed the video and you learned something new make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't it's the best way to support me and help me make more a lot of our videos we have a lot more videos coming guys uh, stay tuned uh you guys have asked me a lot of different stuff like custom pages uh, widgets all those things i'll definitely make videos on those as well hopefully in the coming weeks have a great day bye